Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Hey, look! A toy that comes with his own toys! Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Scoop. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, as usual, nothing going on without the comic book in there. There's Scoop looking all scoopy, thrilling, 30, Autobot, all that good stuff. On the back, got your obligatory product shots, you got your tech specs, and you got your bio, if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. And, of course, he does come with the pack-in comic, which has some pretty nice artwork. Dig in that. Autobot scoop. And, um, he comes packed with, uh, uh Dark Cybertron Chapter chapter 2, which is really weird because I, I, I haven't even read this issue yet. And, um, I, I leafed through it, and I noticed that he's in all of, like, three panels in this whole comic book, and yet in one of the past issues of... Either more than meets the eye, or robots in disguise. He is featured a lot more prominently in one of those issues, but they decide to pack into one where he's in like four panels. I don't get it, but okay, whatever. But of course, you get your comic book. And before I get down to scoop, I do want to do a little update on this guy, um, Voyager World. I found out that uh, you can actually push his shoulders in. Did not notice this. You can actually take the shoulders and push them into the body and they will click into place did not know that and it is not in the instructions they totally left that out but yeah you can totally push your shoulders all the way in so it's nice and flush against his body and yeah it makes it look better but you know for me uh, honestly I actually like them I think they look better out I like them this way it makes them look you know because the, the, the world from the comic books is kind of skinny and gangly, so this kind of fits that aesthetic a little more. I mean, this, this, is, this seems like, well, if you want the more G1 look and you want the, the shoulders close to the body, then, you know, that's the way you go. But just wanted to uh, do that little update for World that, yeah, you can push your shoulders in. Who knew? Sometimes Transformers instructions suck. That is totally new information, isn't it? <laughs> But onward to this guy right here. He's Scoop. And he is a loader. And he is really orange. Just a lot of orange going on here. Just tons and tons of orange. I mean, very sparse on the paint apps. You got a little bit of a little bit of gray here, a little bit of gray here. Um, and everything else is just the molded plastic black, black, and yellow. And you got a little bit of blue here, Autobot symbol, and some more gray. And that's the uh, chest and robot mode. But, yeah, a lot of orange here. Just a big orange loader. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can't actually move this around. It is on a, a joint right here. It's on this joint right here, but that's more for transformation. But you can still use it. And it's got that joint there, so you can position this however you want. Totally up to you. But there's still some nice details molded in there. You can see the, uh, you know, the, 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 the pistons molded in right there. There's even a ladder going on, and there's still some nice molded in details, and so it looks good for what it is, and he does roll quite nicely, although a little squeakly, but he rolls nicely, for comparison, here he is with Generations Bumblebee, as you can see how uh, they stack up, so, there you go. And uh, he does come with accessories in the form of two guns. He does come with two guns. Two target masters, actually. And uh, they do have names. What are their names? I have to look at it here. This guy is Hole Punch. And this guy is Caliburst. Hole Punch. Okay. Hole Punch and Caliburst. Okay. <laughs> So basically, these are the two target masters that I believe came with the original uh, G1 version of Scoop. 
And uh, yeah, he does come with both his, both of his uh, target masters, and we'll take a look at hole punch here. You can see this is a gun mode, and it's a double barreled gun that would definitely punch some holes in things. So you know, hey, it is what it is. I mean, it's it's a very simple transformation. You can see the body's right there, legs are right there. I mean, <laughs> there's no real hiding anything here. And to transform them, you just take the arms, and they do actually. Uh, they, they peg in and they tab in together. So that's pretty nice. And just take that, flip it back, flip the barrels back, and there he is in his robot mode. And he's actually pretty cool. A, a, a very nice sculpt, actually. Very nicely done. Let's see if we can get in close here on the head. You know, this, it's, it looks really good. I will say, it looks really good. And for comparison, here he is with the Target Masters that came with the uh, Legends. Here's Roller. You can see. Uh, a little bit taller. And here are the Target Master dudes that came with the uh, Power Cord Combiners. So you can see, definitely shorter than them. So, there you have that. So there is Hole Punch. And his other partner, Calibris, you see, is just a single barreled gun. Actually, a triple barreled gun if you count these two. And he is also very uh, yellow and orange and blue. There's definitely a common theme here of yellow, orange, and blue. There's a uniting theme amongst them. So, they're obviously part of a team. <laughs> they're a unified front. But, um, there he is, and he has the exact same transformation. Just flip that back. Split the arms. Split the arms. They actually do tab in quite well. Flip that back. And there he is. There's Caliburst in his robot mode. And he looks really good, too. Very nice. Nice blue face going on there. And, uh, just, you know, a really good looking little robot mode. I dig it. Articulation wise, um, their shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can get some pretty good range of movement. You, you can even get some outward movement there. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all the articulation you're going to get out of these guys. It's just that uh, shoulder ball joint. But there you go. He's got his two buddies. And uh, yeah. Um, one thing that does bug me a little bit is the fact that <laughs> this guy has ports that are obviously meant for these guys, but they don't really work with them. Unless I'm doing something wrong, which I probably am, and if I am, I know you're going to tell me about it. But, <laughs> this is the internet after all. <laughs> but, it, it seems like in gun mode, they don't seem to really work that well. If you plug them in up here, they don't point straight, they kind of point off to the side. And you can't plug them both in because they just kind of, they kind of collide with each other. Um, they do plug in kind of securely on the sides. At least Caliburst does. Get him plugged in there. He actually does plug in securely on the sides. Doesn't really, you know, and, and it kind of knocks up against the wheel some. So I I don't know. And this guy, for some reason, his peg is seems to be a little too small because it just kind of falls right out. I don't get it. But yeah, he doesn't he doesn't stay on. And there are the, you know, the ports on the sides, and you obviously can't really do much with that, especially with this guy, and then it'll just be kind of dragging on the floor, and it's still kind of hitting the wheel, and I, 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 I don't know how you're supposed to incorporate this into the modes, uh, into this mode. I mean, the only thing I could figure out really was you can kind of, you can take one of them, we'll take hole punch here, you can take them and, and plug them into the top, like that, it can be like, hey... Hey, Parade! Whee! How you doing? Yay! Whee! That's the only thing I could really think. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, I, I'm probably doing something wrong. Most likely, I'm doing something wrong, but it just seems like the gun modes don't really incorporate into the alt mode very well. Uh, it just seems to just... They seem to just always collide with something. It's I, I don't know. I really... I don't know. <laughs> but, but this, hey, you stand. But we'll put these guys off to the side. And we'll concentrate on the scooper. The pooper of scooper. No, 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 no. That's not what he does. The pooper scooper. Okay, fine. You want to you wanna fall, then you don't get to be in the frame. It's your punishment. <laughs> so let's get down to transformation. So first thing you're going to do, transformation is actually pretty simple with this guy. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come back here, take the legs, and fold them out. 
You're going to split them. Flip down his foot. Come on, man. Flip the foot down. Flip the foot down. There you go. Now you got his legs. You're going to untab his arms. Like that. You're going to lift this whole assembly up. You're going to take the arms and you're going to bring them out and down. Like that. Once you do that, you're going to take this whole section here and pivot it down like that. Once you do that, you're going to take this whole section right here and you're going to bring that up and that reveals the head. And you're going to bring it down. It's on a hinge right here too. So you're going to bring that down, bring that back up, and we'll rotate the head. And then we're going to take this whole shoulder assembly here. We're going to rotate this and they'll move together. So basically this this flat piece right here is flush with the chest. Once you have that done, you see he has some, some little molded in details going in there too. Once you have that done, two tabs, you're going to tab in right here and lock all that into place. It's going to straighten out the arms, flip out his fist. Come on. Come on, you. And once you do that, you're just going to bring this up on this hinge and bring it back down on this hinge. And basically, this, the scooper part is going to go over that cockpit right there. I don't know construction vehicle terminology. <laughs> Can't you tell? So, once you got all that done, you got Scoop in his robot mode. And he is very orange and very yellow. And yeah, but he's interesting. He's a very interesting design, I will say. I, I, it, it, he, he definitely, it, <laughs> he catches the eye. <laughs> you can't say that he doesn't. Getting close here on the head sculpt. You can see very good head sculpt. Very nice, very good light piping. You can see his eyes just glow very nice, very blue. He looks angry. And, um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's, it's a neat design, and I, I do dig it. I mean, like I said, he's very orange and very yellow, and, <laughs> you know, he, he makes no bones about it. Not ashamed to admit it. And I do like how they actually, you know, molded in some, uh, some old, you know, some gears and whatnot in these little hollow bits. You know, they're trying. But, yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of wiggle room, but you can you, you can bob his head up and down, and obviously rotate. Shoulders are on a ball joint as well as this hinge right here. You do get a bicep swivel. You do get an elbow joint. Uh, no wrist swivel, which means he is a horrible toy. Apparently, <laughs> he does. <laughs> wrist swivels have become the new ankle tilts. Apparently that's the thing now. But anyway, he does have a waist joint. Hips are on a ball joint. You get your thigh swivel. You get your knee joint here. And if you use that transformation joint, you pretty much get a double jointed knee. So you get full range of movement there. And you can kind of pivot his toes up and down. But it doesn't really do much good. So. There you go. He's neat. Like I said, he's He's interesting. And here he is with his little target master buddies. You can see how they look together. He likes to fall. Are you drunk, man? What have you been drinking? God! There it is. And of course, since they are target masters, guess what? He can wield them as guns. So he can hold one in the one hand. And he can hold hole punch in the other hand. Hole punch. Seriously, hole punch. <laughs> so there you go. So you can dual wield his target master buddies if he wants to. Or you do have the option, if you want to, you can totally combine the two. So you can take, I forget how you have them combined. You can do it either way, actually. They both have the same, uh, the same slot for it. But basically, you're just going to take one and you'll see there's a tab right there and there's a slot right on his butt and this makes for a very um awkward kind of combining there but that's how you do it 
So you just take them, tab them together, like so. Oh, let me plug this back together. And then you get a combined mode gun. And you can hold it by either handle. You can hold it up here, and it doesn't really interfere too much, or you can hold it by this handle. So there you go. So it's basically got a, a, a rifle now. And like I said, you can you can combine them either way because they both have the same uh, connection point on them. So you can do this, open that up, and you can you know plug his face into Caliber's butt. <clears throat> Plug that in, and then you have the gun looking like that. So, totally up to you how you want it oriented. So, there you have that, and that looks pretty cool. I like that you can have kind of a, a combined, you know, the uh, you know rifle mode. I, I think that's really cool. So, for comparison, here he is with Trail Cutter. You can see how they look together, and he's actually a bit shorter. Then trail cutter. And here he is with skids. And again, a little shorter than skids. By a bit. And here he is with the Ryan packs. You can see how they look together. And just the heck of it, here he is with Whirl. Why not? Dare I say, why not? So, you can see how they look together. And I like Whirl. And this guy's pretty cool too, I will say. Oh yeah, and of course he does have the uh, the ports on his forearm, so. I guess if you wanted to. If you really wanted to. I guess we can mount these guys as a... Uh, kind of forearm cannons. You know what's funny about these guys is this guy's peg seems like it's too big and this guy's peg seems like it's too small. Because... He just likes to fall out a little too easy, and he's actually quite a pain to get into those ports. But, you know, you can hold them like forearm cannons, but I, I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> I don't particularly like that. So I'm going to just put him back in robot mode. How about that? Put him back in robot mode for some final thoughts here. And this thing just wiggled itself out. How dare you wiggle yourself out? in the middle of a review. I mean, it's just a friction joint, it's just two little nubs that it clips onto. He likes to fall. Now you want to fall too. How dare you! How dare you! <sighs> don't you hate it when toys don't do what you want them to? God, it's the worst thing in the world. Worst thing ever. So you have him. He's a pretty cool toy, like I said. He's He's interesting. I, you know, I, I really, I, I dig this guy for some reason because he's so kind of out of left field. Like, I don't think anybody would have ever thought that they would do an updated figure of Scoop. I mean, really. But he's a cool figure. He's neat. He's, he's simple, you know, engineering-wise, paint-wise. I mean, there's not a lot going on here. But he's still an interesting figure, and uh, I, I like him. He definitely has he has a charm to him that that I uh, I quite dig. And you get the the dual target masters, and you know, it's all around. Uh, it's it's a fun little package, and I do quite like him. So I think that's pretty much it for this guy. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Scoop. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey, Scoop, Scoop. Oh, dude, you'll never guess what I just saw, man. I just ran into Trailbreaker, and he was making his force field face, and it was the most hilarious thing I have ever seen. You know what his force field face looks like? It looks like this. Ow! What the heck? Ow! Seriously! What the heck, little dudes? What was that for? Jeez. You guys get really weird when I try to tell you stories.